Hello everybody and welcome to race 22 of the NASCAR Thunder 2003 Let's Play season. We arrived at the Rockets Glen International in New York, just outside New York City, for the running of the Sirius Satellite Radio at the Glen for the last road course race of the season. The NASCAR Winston Cup Series made a right turn today on its way to Watkins Glen International for today's race, the Sirius Satellite Radio at the Glen. The Glen is a road course that can be quite a challenge to these drivers. Isn't that right, Barney? Well, the Glen is quite fast for a road course. The problem is getting these big, heavy cars to handle well through the tight turns. A missed braking point can spell disaster for these drivers if they shoot through a corner too fast. Jimmy McMurray is having some trouble in the points this year. And how frustrating that must be. You're working just as hard as everyone else, yet you just can't seem to finish well on race days to gain the valuable points you need. These guys need a good finish just to regain their confidence as a team. Jeff Purvis hasn't made much of a move in the points so far. Now, those guys have been working so hard this year. It's a shame it doesn't really show in points. Just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. Maybe their luck will change today. The Dale Jr. Chevrolet has strung together back-to-back -to -back top fives, and I'm sure he'll try for another one. And let me tell you something, Joe. You throw in a couple of wins to go along with those top fives, and all of a sudden you're in the hunt for the championship. We thank our soldiers and salute them for so, for fighting, for sacrificing their lives to serve for our country and fighting for our freedom. The engines are fired, the fans are ready, and we're ready for some exciting live action at Watkins Glen, New York. With Elliot Sadler on the pole and second place point man Kevin Harvick alongside, trying to go after win number five of the season. Let's take a look at the entire starting field presented by EA Sports. It's in the game. Junior trying to go for three in a row. Will that happen? Let's find out. Row one finds Elliot Sather, his first pull of the season, and Kevin Harvick, another front row starting spot. Row two is Shauna Robinson and Scott Wimmer, a pair of rookies. Row three finds Robbie Gordon's 31 car and the famous number 43 car used to be driven by Richard Petty, but in this game, driven by John Andretti. Row 4 finds Casey Edwards' number 7 car and Rusty Wallace's number 2 car. Row 5 finds Dale Jarrett's number 88 car and Jimmy Spencer's number 41 car. Row 6 is Jamie McMurray's number 27 car and Kurt Busch's number 97 car. Row 7 finds Jeff Bird's number 99 car and Greg Bubbles' number 16 car. Almost brain farted right there, flipping them around backwards. Row eight is Ken Trey's number 36 car and the 20 of Tony Stewart trying to go for a road course sweep starting at 16. Row nine finds Mark Barnes' number six car and Jimmy Johnson's number 48 car, the fifth place point man. Row 10 finds Casey Kane's number 98 car and Ricky Rudd's number 28 car. Row 11 finds Sterling Marlin's number 40 car and Bobby Labonte's number 18 car. Row 12 finds Matt Kenseth's number 17 car and Ward Burton's number 22 car. Row 13 finds Jeff Ward's number 24 car and Jeff Purvis's number 37 car. Row 14 finds Ryan Newman's number 20, number 12 car and Bill Owens' number 9 car. Nearly said 20 there, my apologies. Row 15 finds Johnny Benson's number 10 car and Mike Skinner's number 4 car. Row 16 finds Michael Walter's number 15 car and Jerry Newman's number 25 car. Row 17 finds Frank Kimmel's number 46 car and the championship leader, Dale Hunt Jr. Didn't qualify so good, so they'll start way back in 34th place. Rose 18 is Todd Bodine's number 26 car and Steve Park's number one car. Row 19 finds Ricky Craven's number 32 car, 32 car and Calvin's number 45 car. Sorry. Brain farting again. Row 20 is Terry Bodine's number five car and Jeremy Mayfield's number 19 car. Row 21 is Shane Hall's number 63 car and Jeff Green's number 30 car. And rounding out the field is car number 55 driven by Bobby Hamilton. 
It's time for some racing for the final time on a road course at Watkins Glen. Green flag is out and we're on at Watkins Glen. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh boy. The number eight car is on the move. the top 10 for the number eight car. Here comes Harvick under attack. Harvick takes the lead. Oh, look who, oh, Bernard Jr. moves into third. What, where did he come from? He, he came all the way from 34th starting spot. Bernard Jr. for second on Sadler. Charging on Harvick as Harvick scores five points for leading the first lap. Oh, oh Jr. back. What the? Sadler got into Oh, Sadler shoots Bernard Jr. into the grass. Oh, there's contact. Bernard Jr. turned Shauna Robinson into the wall. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Sadler trying to regain the lead from Harvick. Oh, boy. Oh, Jr. gets into Sadler. Harvick's the only car that he needs to pass. Will, will that happen, or will Bernard Jr. run out of time? Harvick's got a great gap over Earnhardt Jr. on his way to win number five of the season. Here comes Harvick for the final time. Will Earnhardt Jr. have one last shot at him? No, and he's gonna run out of time. Kevin Harvick wins at Watkins Glen. Dale Earnhardt Jr. finishes in second. Casey Atwood finishes in third. Sadler, Jeff Burden, rounding out the top five. Followed by Robbie Gordon, Dale Jarrett, Jamie McMurray, Scott Wimmer, and Kurt Busch, the top ten. Ken Schrader, Jimmy Spencer, Rusty Wallace, Tony Stewart, Sean Robinson, Greg Biffle, Jeff Gordon, John Andretti, Ryan Newman, and Casey Kane. Then Mark... Mark Martin, Sterling Marlin, Ricky Rudd, Matt Kinson, Jimmy Johnson, Bobby Labonte, Johnny Benson, Mike Skinner, Ward Burden, Jeff Purvis, Jerry Nadeau, Jeremy Mayfield, Frank Kimmel, Bobby Hamilton, Todd Bodine, Bill Elliott, Michael Waltrip, Kyle Petty, Steve Park, Ricky Craven, Shane Hall, Jeff Green, and Terry Labonte. Terry Labonte can't be happy with that finish, but there's always next race at Michigan. So Kevin Harvick grabs win number five of the season. Now Harvick's got a big gap of second place in the points over Dale Jarrett. We'll see you next time at Michigan.